It's now 11.35. And I'm going to catch footage as long as I can. I'll let you know when it's I just checked and September 29, 2023 will be the harvest moon. And so we know that when you count all of October, all of November, all of December, January of 2024, February, March, that's six months, and then eight days in April. So it'll be six months and eight days later from the harvest moon that the Great American Solar Eclipse will form an X over Carbondale, Illinois. And um, knowing that the first part of the X occurred in August of 2017 in Jewish year 5777. And we know the bride was represented, she's represented by a triple seven in 20, Revelation 21 9. And so 2024, in six months and eight days after the harvest moon, which occurs this year on September 29. It'll be the Great American Solar Eclipse. We'll have to see if it ties into the departing of the Hidden Bride. He wants me to mention that Genesis 24, 61 through 67 proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that the bride knows to remain hidden. She would never unveil her identity on the internet or in public. There's no reason to. She knows to whom she belongs to, Song of Solomon 6.3. She knows with Abrahamic faith. And um, he just put on my heart to pray for all the women who are 
demanding on being her. It's not up to anyone on this planet. It's up to Abba Father, Yeshua HaMashiach, and the Spirit of Truth. It's clear, you know, Abraham is a type of Yahweh the Father. Isaac is a type and foreshadow of Yeshua the Messiah. And Eliezer, the servant of Abraham, is a type and foreshadow of the Royal Kakadesh, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth. You know, Rebecca rode back on a camel with Eliezer, and when she initially met Isaac, she wore a veil. Genesis 24, 61 through 67. This veil, along with the veil that Abishai wore in Song of Solomon chapter 4 when she got married to King Solomon, is symbolic of the real bride knowing to remain hidden. She would never insist or claim audibly on the internet that she's the bride, the lamb's wife. We're talking about a woman who has been prophesied about hundreds of times for thousands of years and to claim to be this woman. Really, it makes no sense. You know, it's just spreading rotten fruit all over the internet. A place that Daniel the prophet prophesied about. You know, when Daniel clearly wrote, knowledge would be increased. You know, and it can only increase on the internet. And so... You know, he just put on my heart to pray for all the women whose hearts are not softened. You know, those whose hearts are hardened. He doesn't want anyone to harden their hearts. And um, the bride knows to remain hidden. And so, actually, what time is it? Oh, guess what? It's 11.42. 11.42 Eastern Time Zone right now. Look at that moon. It looks yellowish orange. Like, wow. So we'll have to see. We'll see. You know, I hope and pray people start taking me seriously about watching the time clock Israel. You know, he will refocus his attention on the Jewish people. That's a biblical fact. Psalm 83 wars are drawing very, very near. Um, and so... Now, it will be a time of Jacob's trouble, and it will be also the time of the heathen. I can only imagine what it'll look like when the vials are poured out. I'm extremely worried for the lost. Really, what Simon Peter wrote in 1 Peter 4, the remnant will be scarcely saved. You know, it tells me that what Yohanan wrote about in Revelation 3.10, the Church of Philadelphia, it will not be that many. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which will come upon the world. The remnant will be scarcely saved. It's not a salvation issue for most people. For liars, it's a salvation issue. But... Elohim knows your heart. He knows who loves to make a lie, Revelation twenty two fifteen, and he knows who is just brainwashed.
but there is a reason why the adversary used the Greek translator back in 70 AD to replace the groom and the bride with a confusing term bridegroom. I can only imagine how many times Yeshua HaMashiach talked to a pastor over the centuries about the mistranslation. It's very, very clear. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, <coughs> they all wrote that they were the children of the bride chamber or the friend of the bridegroom. In Matthew 9.15, Mark 2.19-20, through 20, Luke 5.34-35, and in John 3.29. This fully aligns with Joel 2.16. The children, the infants, the elders, all the members of the congregation, they are separate from the bride who comes out of her closet in Joel 2.16. There is no denying this. The bride is one Proverbs 31 woman. I just pray people come to this knowledge of the truth before it's too late. You know. Apocalypse means unveiling. The bride knows what her blessed hope is. Titus 2.13 is the 6,777th verse in the New Testament, knowing that Matthew 1.1 1, 1 is the first verse. And her blessed hope is to hear her beloved cry out to her, raise up my love, my fair one, and come away. That's when the bride is removed off the planet in Revelation 18.23, when Song of Solomon 2.10 takes place. And it really is not a coincidence that her blessed hope, Titus 2.13, is the 6,777th verse of the New Testament within the KJV Bible. In 6777, according to Strong's Hebrew Concordance, means veil. It proves that the veil Abishai wore when she got married to King Solomon, uh, it proves that the real bride knows to remain hidden or veiled. You know, I just pray for all the women who are demanding on being this woman. Really, it's up to no one except for Adonai Elohim, all three members, Abba Father, Yeshua the ha Yeshua HaMashiach and the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh, you know. Genesis 24, 61 through 67 proves that Rebecca is a foreshadow of the hidden bride. When Rebecca initially met Isaac, she wore a veil. It is definitely symbolic of the real bride knowing to remain hidden. Look at that moon. Wow. The color is just astonishing. My golden doodle is right next to me enjoying every minute of this. I have to record this and stop her from jumping out of the bedroom window.
it's been about 15 minutes now. So I'm gonna take some pictures and I pray we fly very, very soon, brothers and sisters. Surely our blessed hope is drawing very near. Shalom.